Yakuza Kiwami is a PlayStation exclusive release, serving as a full remake of the original entry in the series from a decade ago on the PS2. In addition to a graphical overhaul, the game mechanics and story elements have been tweaked or filled out in pleasing ways to give the game a fresh breath of life and bring it well into line with modern game standards. From a design standpoint, it really benefits from the lessons that have been learned throughout development on later games in the series as well. Fans of the recent prequel entry, Yakuza 0, will find a lot of comfort and familiarity throughout the core of Yakuza Kiwami. Using the same base engine and style, it feels much like a continuation of the same game in a lot of good ways, but with the focus placed squarely on Kazuma Kiryu as the main protagonist and some old favourites returning to fill out the supporting cast roles. In this adventure, Kiryu, who apparently doesn't ever visibly age, finds himself taking the fall for a brutal crime and winds up doing a 10 year stint in prison. This actually provides a great reset mechanic for a lot of his fighting skills and abilities, as he goes from the god tier melee combatant that you'd recognise from the conclusion of his Yakuza 0 arc, to a newly released ex-con who's lost a lot of his edge. Despite being a bit older and wiser, he needs to re-enter the dangerous underbelly of Japanese organised crime in order to rebuild his atrophied skills and shake off the rust to become a serious threat once again. At their heart, the Yakuza games are action-adventure brawlers, and Kiwami is no different. Kiryu's main fighting disciplines from Yakuza 0 make a return, with the mid-ranged brawler, fast rush and heavy beast styles being available from the get-go. His specialised Dragon of Dojima style also makes a reappearance, but it's slow to get going due to the way it develops in line with character advancement throughout the game. Heat actions are also back with a couple of tweaks, helping to create great cinematic combat moments as well as doling out some serious hurt. The opening act of Yakuza Kiwami is quite brief in terms of the fight training this time, simply running you through some basic combos before getting you stuck into the thick of the action and leaving you to experiment throughout the rest of the game. This is great for experienced Yakuza players, but somewhat of a fumble for newcomers as a bit more guidance on the pros and cons of the styles for each situation would have been quite useful. Unlike Yakuza Zero's progression economy of everything being tied to money, Kiwami steps back to the separation of experience and currency resource, with the former being earned through fighting, completing side quests, and a variety of other activities. Experience points can then be spent across three different advancement wheels representing upgrades in body, tech, and soul, with upgrades linked to Kiryu's three primary fighting styles scattered throughout. Advancement of your trademark fourth fighting style, the Dragon of Dojima, is linked closely to one of the remake's biggest new features, the Majima Anywhere system. Now inexplicably unhinged, the one-eyed Yakuza, Goro Majima, has moved from playable protagonist in Yakuza 0 back to his original supporting role of part comic relief, part aggressive foil for Kiryu. In addition to showing up to challenge you to a beating at numerous moments throughout the primary story, he also pops up regularly in free roam game zones to trigger mini boss fights and keep you on your toes. Beating Majima on these occasions is one of the key ways to unlock skill points for your Dragon of Dojima fighting style, so in order to develop it to a reasonable standard, you'll end up needing to kick the crazy out of him a lot. It can be a little tedious, but fortunately there's some definite entertainment value to some of the scenes, and the weird and wacky places that he actually shows up can trigger a few chuckles. Visually, the game's fictional setting of Kamurocho looks as good as it's ever been, with the lived-in detail lovingly crafted on almost every surface of the city. One fun evolution to enjoy this time though, are the small changes in environment and people with the advancement of fashion and technology, especially after the decade time jump when Kiryu gets out of jail. Cell phones are everywhere now, which also contributes to the reduction in payphone boxes on the map, and thankfully, the move of the in-game save feature to an on-demand option, presumably linked to the mobile phone that you now carry. The redubbed Japanese dialogue of Yakuza Kiwami is excellent, allowing for a lot of great scenes with highly emotive encounters and conflict. It shines through as strictly superior to any alternative English language dubbing that's existed with some previous western ports of the series. The remixed soundtrack is less of an upgrade, but still does the job of capturing the feel of the setting and time period nicely. Like other Yakuza games, a stack of amusing side quests and minigames are littered throughout the map, providing plenty of alternatives from the critical story path. You can amuse yourself with all the fan favourites, like karaoke, pocket circuit car racing, the batting range, arcade games, and of course, the slightly seedier elements of Kamurocho Nightlife. The game in its entirety seems a bit lighter in terms of overall story and side content than some others in the series, but there's still plenty of hours of distraction to be had if you go looking. One really welcome addition to the story this time is the integration of a series of flashback scenes that help to pad out a lot of the events during Kiryu's 10 years off the grid. These serve to help ground the narrative somewhat and make sense of some of the otherwise jarring leaps in character development. This approach can create a bit of patchwork storytelling at times, 
but overall it does more good than harm to help the player understand what's otherwise a pretty complicated web of family ties, cultural history, and criminal intrigue. As with the rest of the series, the violence level in Yakuza Kiwami often ventures into extreme territory, so seeing guys get face smashed into walls or brutally curb stomped is either your thing or it's not. That said, it's a game that never takes itself too seriously. There's a great mix of humour in the general character dialogue, the plentiful side quests, and the over-the-top nature of the entire setting. If you're a long-time fan of the Yakuza series, despite a few missed opportunities, there's a decent serve of new content and polish to make this one well worth a look. If you're fortunate enough to be jumping on fresh for the ride now, then there's plenty of fun to be had experiencing where the story first began. Yakuza Kiwami is an immersive crime drama adventure that should suck you in and leave you hungry for the inevitable next chapter.